Welcome back to our CNC tutorial series. Today, we're delving into the world of canned cycles and the key role of G codes G80 and G81. Let's get started. Canned cycles are pre programmed routines for common machining operations, such as drilling, boring, or tapping. They encapsulate a complex series of actions into a single command, making our code more efficient and readable. For example, in a drilling operation, instead of individually coding each action, like moving to the location, plunging the tool, retracting the tool, and then moving to the next location, a canned cycle handles all these steps in one command. Now let's talk about G80 and G81, two G codes associated with canned cycles. G80 is the G-code used to cancel a canned cycle. This command ensures that the machine stops following the canned cycle pattern and returns to regular programming. On the other hand, G81 is a G-code that initiates a basic drilling cycle. When G81 is used, you define the start point, the depth of the hole, and the retraction point. Let's consider an example. The G-code G81X10Y10Z5R2F75 initiates a drilling cycle. The tool moves to the point X10, Y10, plunges to a depth of Z5 at a feed rate of 75, retracts to a height of R2, and then moves to the next position. To cancel this drilling cycle, we would simply use G80 at the point in the program where we want the canned cycle to end. Understanding how to use canned cycles with G80 and G81 can greatly simplify your CNC programming, making your work more efficient and reducing potential errors. That wraps up our exploration of canned cycles and the G codes G80 and G81. In the next episode, we'll delve deeper into the world of G codes. Until then, happy machining.